And breaking tonight, we're learning a suspect was arrested after a shooting at a local gym. Police are saying it's all a targeted incident. Nanaseo Bonsu has been in arrest and since the story broke today. She is the latest and those breaking details. Nana. Uh, Jim and Angie, good evening. Fairness County Police, they are still on this scene here in Reston. They're trying to figure out the relationship between the victim and the suspect, but what they can confirm is that at some point, both of them were inside this gold gym working out. I was working out, and all of a sudden I hear this loud bang. Paul Jacobson initially thought someone dropped their weights, but the bangs continued. Bang, bang, bang. I uh, look to my left, and I see a guy standing over another guy with a gun, and I'm like, uh, this isn't good. When Fairfax County officers arrived to the Gold's Gym here on Sunrise Valley Road is where they found the victim with at least one gunshot wound to the upper body. Police say the suspect walked over to the victim in a, quote, targeted stance before shooting him. I saw them take the victim out, you know. Stretcher. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he later died. People who come to this gym say it was pretty busy during the time of the shooting. Everybody heard people screaming, like yelling, and I just ran out the back door. People outside the gym noticed something was up. They were all coming out, and they were like coming out really fast, like running out fast. And it was a scary sight. This woman was across the street at a restaurant having lunch. It's not what you expect to see, and especially a gym, and especially in this neighborhood. This is Reston, and this is a brand new gym in a nice environment, nice, nice uh, neighborhood. Now, let's talk about this neighborhood. This is the Reston Heights community. It's a mixed-use space. So there's residential on the top, some apartments, and, of course, on the bottom, there's businesses, restaurants, and, of course, the gold gym that you see behind me. So this just all goes to say that there were people outside during this time, but police do confirm that no other people outside of the victim were injured. We also did ask about surveillance. A number of people who go to the gym tell us that there are no cameras inside, but police have not confirm that information. Yes, there is a suspect in custody, but police still want to hear from you. So anyone who knows anything uh, surrounding this deadly shooting that took place here is asked to call 911. Guys.